Hey guys, back with another video here. So as you can see by looking at these here, uh, these are about ready to harvest. They're decent in length. I'm up to about the second knuckle here on my finger. So I'm going to have to do this in bits and pieces because I don't have any mount or anything for my camera. So I'm going to pull this out of the container and kind of show you how to harvest these. All right, so I took about two seconds to get this thing out of the container. All I did was take this, flip it upside down, tap on the bottom four or five times, and it kind of just slid out like this. Uh, doo -doo. So here's, I guess, a little go around with her. And if I take the bottom and lift it up, you, as you can see, this is all roots. Um, this is sphagnum moss, if you've seen any of my other videos. Um, so basically, this is like super powdery. It's really fluffy. It's not going to hold together like typical soil. So right now, this is all held together by the root ball. So, it, again, I'm not going to be able to show this because I don't have a camera mount or anything. So I'll just have to, uh, I guess, show you by hand. So as you can see with these here, what you're going to want to do is have like a pair of scissors or a sharp knife. But I like to go and grab them like this, pull them up nice and tall, and then try to cut them as close as I can try to cut them as close as I can to the soil line. And that's just to make sure you get the uh, most efficient the most efficient uh, use of them. You're not leaving uh, wasted material in there or anything. All right, so I'm going to, I guess, do some cutting here, and I'll come back uh, once I have that done and show you what the rest of what I do. Okay, so as you can see here, I just finished up cutting the uh, microgreens here. Um, they're a little bit shorter than I would have liked uh, for some of them, but I think all in all, this is an okay harvest. Uh, here's that root ball as I was talking about. So if you look in here, there's not too much still in here. Um, you're going to have some loss like this where they just never really uh, spread it up nice and tall. You're going to have stuff like this where it's, it's more effort than it's worth to uh, go and snip every little bit off. So with these here, I don't have it with me. I'm going to have to go to a uh, different room, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, to clean these off, all I'll do is uh, give them a light rinse with water in a bowl. And then take that and put it in a uh, salad spinner. Uh, spin that around once. And then you get to storage. Uh, I figured that, at least for me, this is the system that works the best. I just take a paper towel. Uh, you grab them, right? You throw them on here, go around again with uh, another square or rectangle, and then you have a third rectangle. So it's two uh, two pieces on one side, one piece on the other side. And uh, I've managed to get about a week out of these. Um, maybe I could push it a bit longer, but that's uh, not something I typically like to do. And over the course of the week, they'll uh, sweat more and more of their moisture out. So it's really helpful. It prolongs the life of them in your fridge if you uh, have a paper towel and you just put them in a uh, Ziploc bag for storage. So then the last thing I got to talk about here is your root ball. This big, lovely thing right here. So uh, I'll try to do this uh, with one hand, but I might either fail or make a gigantic mess with it. But, <sighs> okay. Uh, I guess I should have refer to this here. Uh, I work in agriculture. I'm a university student right now, but I do work in agriculture. This is not good soil health practice, so I sh feel like I should talk about that, but I don't have the means right now or the space or anything like that to do composting. Uh, I recommend you do compost this just to uh, get some sort of crop rotation and not... Uh, ruin the fertility of whatever media, so growing medium you're using, whether that be soil or sphagnum moss like this is. Uh, so, I, yeah, I guess go, like, look up uh, composting videos on YouTube if you want to do something like that, or if you're like me and you're just going to reuse the same soil, right? It's just a little bit of volume. If you destroy it and uh, remove all the nutrients from it, it's not a huge deal. It's just a small volume. Uh, so basically all I'm going to do with this is just, I'll do that, rip it up, just really rip everything up, try to make it soft and fluffy like it used to be before. Uh, as you can see here, uh, the soil is quite wet, it's still clumpy, 
and the uh, roots in here are actually going to uh, hold it together. So you're you're not going to get it you're not going to get it remotely close to what it was like uh, the first time you planted anything in here. You took it out of your little soil bag. It was all nice and fluffy and dry. I'll let this sit maybe two, three, four days uh, just in my, under my grow light or in the sun or something just to try to dry it out. It doesn't actually help all that much. And ba all you're really doing with this is you're just trying to break up that soil structure so it's not all compacted. And that's just going to allow your uh, seedlings there when you plant this again to actually uh, root into the soil and have a nice good seed to soil contact so they can germinate and um, grow nicely. I didn't take good care to do this last time and as you saw with my current my yield there it uh, kind of came back to bite me. Uh, this time I am going to do my best to flatten all this out. Like that. So when I actually do go and seed this again, it's going to be easier to uh, harvest it and cut it because I'm not going over bumps and things like that. So a good side point to mention here. Uh, some of these uh, little seedlings here aren't always going to die. So in a few days while I let this thing dry out, there may be several more uh, seedlings that actually germinate out of this. It's not a big deal. You can leave them, uh, just let them grow. Or if you want, you can just reach in and pull them and just take care of them like that uh another side note here is all the roots you actually have in here now uh what they do is they go to the bottom of the container so if you don't have a mister and you you're pouring water into the bottom uh, because this is organic tissue it can actually pull that water up from the bottom of the container into the uh, level of the roots where they'd be used by the plant if that's not so relevant in this case, just because again, there's only about an inch or two, a so inch, inch and a half of soil in here. But if you're using like a bigger pot, you're doing like a geranium or something. If you had, if you had nice long, you know, five, six, seven inch roots and you tore them up, they'd actually be able to pull that water from spots that the plant might not actually, might not actually have access to and raise it up into the soil. Uh, the process for that is going to be osmotic pressure without getting too scientific. It basically just... The organic tissue in the roots just has the ability to pull water up. So, yeah, I'm going to go wash these up. Uh, I'm going to put them on my paper towel, throw that in the plastic bag there, and then that's going to go in the fridge. And I'll try to make these last a week. And uh, around that point in time, I'll probably be ready to do my uh, next harvest. And I'm just going to continue doing that. So thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this, like the video. If you have any questions or comments, just comment that down below. Uh, if you want to see more stuff like this or just anything else I might be up to, uh, subscribe to the channel. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.